Hey everybody, good afternoon. Coming at you from the weather office. I am still hanging out here. Uh, it's about 1.55, so almost 2 o'clock on the Saturday. And uh, I've been following things on the radar for you really all morning, trying to keep track of what's going on and keep you updated. Uh, in some respects, conditions have deteriorated a little bit outside. Not in terms of precipitation, but just in terms of the overall feel to the air. Um, it's very cold. Temperatures have dropped winds have picked up so that's making it feel colder but we don't have a ton of rain or snow around right now so that's a great great thing especially uh, for those of you trying to get out and about so i want to give you guys another update that way you know it's two o'clock now if you've got something going on this afternoon you know what to expect you can see on our current radar picture this still says satellite on it but i turned off the cloud layer so that uh, you can differentiate between clouds and snow sometimes they look very similar since in our system they're both white so i didn't want uh, to think that all those clouds were snow here's where we've got some light snow falling most of this is light and then closer to the lake uh, you've still got very very warm ground and here is where we have our rain showers again this is all very light stuff nothing heavy coming down at this time as we get deeper into the afternoon we're going to keep seeing i think a lot of what we're seeing now which is uh, cloudy skies we're seeing you know kind of hit or miss snow showers light drizzle there is a little grapple a little bit of sleet mixing in too that is going to continue through this afternoon three four five o'clock and then after sunset when things really start to cool off more i think that's when we'll start to see that lake getting involved and then we get our lake effect snow showers uh nine o'clock is uh tonight still got that lake effect snow continuing one o'clock in the morning there we go early morning church services uh, I would wear some sensible shoes, gals, because there might be some snow on the ground and uh, there may be some still falling even through early tomorrow morning. Midday, oh, that Browns game tomorrow, cold, windy, cloudy, and there might even be a little bit of snow falling. Closer to tomorrow night into the wee morning hours of Monday, things really quiet down for us. I'll tell you, I'm more concerned about the wind and the snow because this is ohio it snows here two to five inches like big deal it's really not that serious in terms of the snow it's just our first accumulation of the season so that's why we are really keeping track of it and and trying to keep you updated as much as we can but I think the bigger issue it really is the wind. In terms of overall totals, my thinking here has not changed much. Still looking at two to five higher totals where bands set up and are more persistent out here in inland Ashtabula, Geauga, Portage, Trumbull, and Mahoning counties, and then lesser out to the west, a trace to three inches. And like I was saying earlier, and we tried to stress on the air earlier this week, not everybody in here is going to see up to three inches. That will be where snow bands set up and drop more snow. And then you get farther out to the west, just kind of looks like a snow globe out there. Don't think we'll see much of any accumulation west of Mansfield. As I was mentioning, winds are a big issue for us. They continue to be sustained right now anywhere from 15 to 30 miles an hour. 35 mile an hour wind gusts just recorded out there in Elyria. Uh, that's in Lorraine County, and because of these gusty winds, the National Weather Service is continuing their wind advisory all along the lakeshore here from Lorraine County through Cuyahoga County and out towards uh, Erie, Pennsylvania. Very, very windy, very tough to drive, and we might even see some power outages. Of course, that wind makes it feel even colder than it is, and it's already cold. It's 39 in Akron, but you factor in those winds and it feels like 31 wind chills in mid 20s for some of you out in area it's going to be cold and windy for the rest of the day and even through tomorrow your afternoon planner if you have dinner plans around six or seven plan for scattered snow showers cold and windy conditions i would encourage you if you do not have it to download the Cleveland 19 weather app. It has a lot of cool features, interactive radar, severe weather alerts. And this is my favorite feature, brand new, only app in Northeast Ohio that can do this for you. Personalized push alerts for active weather near you. So one of the biggest complaints that we get about apps, whether it's the weather app or the news app, we get complaints 
that you're getting alerted for things that don't impact you. So let's say there's some snow moving into Cleveland. Well, if you're in Akron, you probably don't care because it's not affecting you. You don't want your phone to go off for things that have no impact on your life, right? So that's the cool feature with this app. We personalize these push alerts. I can go into a map, pick a place I wanna send an alert, and just send it to those people. Now, there are some things that impact the whole area, like this cold and windy weather, uh, and we will send those out to everyone. But with certain things like very localized weather systems, we will only alert those people. And it's just really cool because up until recently, we haven't been able to do that. We've had to send, you know, weather alerts to everyone when really as only a small number of people uh, who were being impacted. So that is a pretty cool feature with our app. If you're interested in downloading it, Beth will be here all night sending out those alerts to people. Let's say we have lake effect bands setting up across the area. Uh, she will send an alert to those people and uh, let them know what's happening out there. So uh, just search Cleveland 19 in the app store. There's two apps. There's a news app and a weather app. Both of them are great. I have both, but right now, of course, I'm talking about the weather app. So again, just search Cleveland 19 in your app store. I hope that you guys have a wonderful afternoon. I'm gonna go watch the radar from home and uh, maybe watch a little football and I might make some chili this afternoon. I was kind of trying to decide what I was gonna make because you know, when it's cold and windy outside, uh, you want to make something that's like going to make you all warm inside. So maybe I'll make like some chili or some soup. I hope you guys have a great afternoon and uh, I'll see you on Monday morning. Stay warm.